Hey guys, Vito from Jersey coming to you from my car. Right now I'm sitting in Patterson, New Jersey. No, 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 Hawthorne, we had to go through Patterson. I had to take my son to the dentist. And uh, my wife is in there with, the, with him, filling out some papers. I'm sitting in the car. I don't need to sit in there with all that moyen, moyen. <laughs> Moyen in uh, Sicilia means a lot of trouble, a lot of bullshit. Anyhow, I'm sitting here and I figured I'd do a shout out to Tim, Tim Shuffleboard, who says hello to me all the time, and now he owes me 20 bucks. Send the 20 bucks to Vito from Jersey. <laughs> what? $20. $20, QMA, and what do I give a shit? More or less. Listen, you know what I want to know? I go to the Italian cafe, right? In Garfield. Right? Right on Harrison Avenue. A couple of Italian cafes. So there's this one guy in there. Now the guy's got to be about 50 years old. He's the barista, the guy who makes the coffee. This is a 50-year-old man, right? And he's behind the counter with his hat like this. Are you a friggin' moron? I said to him, I can't even, I said to him, what the hell are you doing with your hat like that? Hey, this is the, the, this is the way uh, uh, you're wearing it now. Yeah, if you're a black kid and you're 14 years old, that's the way you wear it. But if you're a 50-year-old man and you're wearing your hat like this, you look like a fucking moron, all right? You don't wear your hat like this when you're over like, I don't know, 16? And there's this other kid. Now, this kid is in his 20s. He goes where I go. He's in the deli. And he's a smart kid. His name is Joe. And he wears his, he's a white kid. He wears his pants down past the cheeks of his ass. He was walking down Hackensack Street the other day, holding his pants up so they wouldn't fall down. I said to him, what, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I said, you know that means you take it in the ass, right? That's true. You know, when you wear the pants down like that, that's a prison thing. That's showing the other prisoners that you take it in the ass when you wear your pants that low. You know that, right? That's the prison culture, right? I told him that. He goes, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Dude, you look like a friggin' moron. What the hell are you doing? A lot of this stuff comes from the prison culture. Like when they wear the hats like this, you know what that was for? For when you look out the bars. Like if you're talking to the guy in the next cell, if you have the hat on like this, right, the bars are stopping you. So when you whip it around, you do that so you can look out the bars. Okay, we understand that. See, that makes sense if you're a friggin' prisoner. If you're not a prisoner, it doesn't make any sense. The pants falling down, that's because in prison they take away your belt so you don't hang yourself, right? So the pants would fall down so they would have to hold them up if, you know, if they were in baggy pants. No shoelaces. You see, you see a lot of these hood rats walking around with no shoelaces on. In prison they take away your shoelaces because... To hang yourself or you can make a grotto out of it and choke somebody out. You know, they do that. So this is all from prison culture. You know, even a lot, a lot of this, uh, this, this, this hood language, this filthy language that they use, that's all prison shit. Fuck you, F you, fuck you. That's all, you know, that's all prison shit. You're telling another guy you're going to F him and stuff like that. That's all fag prison shit. All right? So that's where that comes from. So when you're doing it, and you know what? If you're a kid, I understand. I understand that. You know, you, you're listening to rap music and you want to wear your hat turned around like this. So you look like a freaking moron. Well, when you're 14 years old, 15 years old, sometimes you are a moron. You don't know what's going on. But when you're 50 years old, 55 years old, 40 years old, 30 years old, and you're wearing your hat like this, you're an idiot. 
This is Vito from Jersey telling you officially you're a fucking idiot. All right? Nobody, nobody respects you. You're a jerk. And that's it. And you're, and you're annoying. You're annoying to look at. Annoying to look at. Schifazza to know. Schifazza means disgusting in Italian. I don't even know if that's Italian. That just might be Sicilian. Ma schifazza. Schifazza do. Minchia schifazza. But anyway. I don't think you have too much more to say about that. So anyhow, Vito from Jersey, you tell me what you think.